The data here records the numbers of occurrences of particular types of behaviour amongst a group of chimpanzees on 23 different days when the environment could be very different on the different days. And a student wishes to investigate whether there is a mathematical relationship between two types of behaviour, behaviour B2 and behaviour B1. So we start by looking at a simple regression model and we will use general regression and we will make B1 behaviour the response predicted by behaviour B2. And under graphs we will ask to display standardised residuals plotted against the fit values. So we click OK and then we run the analysis. The numerical results will be given in the session window which we will look at first and we see that we have a linear regression equation given by B1 is equal to effectively minus 10 plus 2.668 times B2. So this is a straight line relationship but it gives an intercept of minus 10 on the y-axis which means that if there are zero occurrences of B2 this predicts mathematically that there would be minus 10 occurrences of B1 which is clearly not a realistic situation. We can look at this on an XY graph by using a scatter plot, simple, with the Y variable B1 and the X variable B2, and under data view we will draw the best fit straight line. So here we see the best fit straight line and the origin of the graph at the zero zero is just here. So we can see that this does not make a realistic fit to these data points. In addition we can now look at the residual plot and again we can see this curvature with regard to the zero line and we can also see that there is an increasing spread of residuals at increasing fitted values. So it is now appropriate to see if a transformation will give a better fit. So we will return to stat, regression, general regression, but now we will select a box Cox transformation by clicking here and we will request the analysis to fit an optimal value of lambda. So we will click OK and run the analysis again. Initially we can see that the residuals now appear to form a more symmetrical fit over the zero line and there is no significant difference in the variance across the fitted values. And if we now look at the numerical results, we see that the Box Cox transformation has estimated lambda to be 0.31799, but that it will take the rounded value of 0.5 for use in the regression analysis, which will give a regression equation of B1 to the power of 0.5 which is the same as the square root of B1, is equal to a constant again, 0.361, plus 0.346 times B2. But if we look at the value of the constant under the coefficients table, we can see that the uncertainty in the constant is 0.441, which is greater than the value of the constant itself. So there is no significant evidence that this constant is anything other than zero. So it would be acceptable then just to treat this as a zero value. And then that will allow us to square 
both sides of the equation conveniently. So squaring the left hand side, it simply becomes B1 will equal the square of 0.346, which is 0 0.120, and that multiplied by B2 squared. So we end up with a square equation in that B1 is approximately proportional to B2 squared.